What is up, people? In today's video, I want to compare WordPress, Ghost, and Medium. Since launching my agency in 2020, I've used these platforms extensively, both for myself and some of our clients, and I've learned to love and hate various aspects of them. So before we dive into all the features and bells and whistles that they each bring to the table, let's talk about a difference between these three platforms. And in order to do that, it's best to categorize WordPress and Ghost together and to put Medium on, on a different side. So WordPress and Ghost are open source, meaning there's a developer community behind them. They constantly contribute to the source code and you can take part in the discussion and the repository, whether it's on GitHub or other platforms. Medium is more of a service-based business. If they make a decision that takes the platform in a certain way for business purposes, you're going to face that situation head on. WordPress and Ghost are in one particular category. They're both open source and you can take part in these discussions where with Medium, there's a board behind the scenes that makes all these decisions and while you get to partake in this huge audience that they bring to the table you don't necessarily get to see the features and talk about them and participate in the discussion and try to weigh in to persuade maybe a certain decision that the community is not liking or liking to go in a different direction now that we have a high level understanding of the three platforms let's bring them back together for a moment and talk about their differences medium is the outlier in these platforms it was founded in 2012 it's gone through a few iterations we don't really know how many active users Medium have. We have seen reports in the past few years where it's over 60 million, or at least at one point they hit 60 million active users on the platform. And that leads me to the biggest advantage that you get when you start to participate with a platform and a community like Medium. You log in, you open an account as you would with Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, you name it. And there's an audience there, a feed essentially to tap into for folks that are just looking to read blog posts. Now, if you did the same thing with WordPress or Ghost, just so that you understand the fundamental difference here between the three, you would have to start working on SEO, some technicalities maybe if you're hosting these platforms yourself and we'll talk about that in a minute. That's the biggest difference between these platforms. With Medium, you just tap into the audience and you start contributing and if you're a good writer, you can gain momentum very quickly. Where with Ghost and WordPress, you're going to have to deal with a lot right off the bat. You're gonna to have to maintain your server or even if someone's hosting it for you, then you need to start working on the SEO side of things. That way you start getting your blog exposed. You essentially own your authority, own your domain, own your space and you need to start getting that platform to be exposed to other people. And this can get daunting. Medium also allows you to monetize your blog and all your hard work and effort through a RevShare partner program that they've released a few years back. And the way that this works is very simple. Medium has two layers to their business model. When you're a reader on the platform, you can either be a free reader or a paid reader. And if you're a paid reader, then you're paying some sort of a monthly fee. And part of that monthly fee can go to folks that are writing articles that are labeled as premium content. If you're a partner, you can randomly turn this on and off so you can expose some of your articles to gain traction and some of your articles you can choose are premium content. That way, only folks that are premium members can actually access these articles. Everything is really simple and seamless for you to just get on with your writing, start contributing to the audience and to the platform that Medium brings to the table and to monetize all your hard work and effort. Next up, we have WordPress and Ghost. And as I mentioned earlier in this video, these platforms are very similar. So what I'm going Going to do is I'm going to cover them together and I'll highlight their differences along the way. To work with either of these two platforms, WordPress or Ghost, you're going to need to make a really big decision right at the beginning. That decision is if you're going with a hosted solution or a self-hosted solution. Self-hosting means that you install the tech stack yourself and piece it all together manually. This direction has advanced a ton in recent years, but you definitely need to be a bit tech savvy and have an understanding of what's going on. Sometimes there could be some security patches or some updates to the CMS that could have you getting a bit dirty with the server side environment that you chose to launch your platform with. So if this technical route is overwhelming to you, I have fantastic news. There are are hosted solutions out there that way you can just get on with your writing and someone else is doing all the technical stuff for you this can be a great direction if you're looking to just get on with the show start blogging growing your audience growing your domain authority and working on seo and all that but you don't want to deal with all the technical issues that could arise randomly when there are releases to either the linux environment that you're in or the cms platform that you chose to go with and even better news on this direction is that you can actually pay the folks that create these technological stacks your 
yourself. You can go to wordpress.com or you can go to ghost.org and you can pay the folks that are sitting there all day trying to make the best decisions on how to contribute to this platform and take it to the next level. Or you can go to third party directions where you pay the folks and they maintain everything for you. And these aren't just like some freelancers. There are some pretty big platforms, for example, GoDaddy for WordPress or for Ghost. There are other alternatives that you can find. Now that we have an understanding of the difference between WordPress and Ghost on just a very basic level as far as hosting goes, let's talk about some of the pros and cons when we're comparing the two platforms. So a fun fact that I can share with you that I think will help you just understand a huge difference between these two platforms is about some history and background of these two platforms. There's a gentleman by the name of John O'Nolan. He used to contribute to open source on the WordPress team. So he was known as a maintainer. He contributed a ton of his time and effort into making WordPress better. And he felt at a certain point that WordPress was becoming a monstrous solution that was trying to cover a lot of different angles rather than just allowing folks to blog and grow their blogging platform. So he decided to part ways with this community and he decided to launch something called Ghost. And he committed to making Ghost a platform that is dedicated to bloggers and not looking to be an alternative to WordPress. A lot of times we compare these two platforms, but the reality is they couldn't be more different from one another. If you look at WordPress showcasing websites that run on this technology, you're going to find websites from Taylor Swift to Snoop Dogg to the whitehouse.gov. When you look at Ghost and what they're showcasing, you're not going to find Taylor Swift and Snoop Dogg and the government's website. You're going to find bloggers, bloggers, and bloggers. That's all they're focusing on. And the most advanced version of this is publishers that are looking to, again, just continue to blog. So you can kind of get an understanding now of a major difference between these two. WordPress is one of those one-stop do-it-all type of solutions where you can have a blog and also launch an e-commerce site and have it all well integrated together and with a bunch of WordPress plugins where Ghost will tell you right from the start, if you're looking to launch an e-commerce website along the way, then you can maybe integrate that with Shopify or something else, but you're not gonna do that with Ghost directly. So I'm not giving you this background story to say that if all you're looking to do is blog, then go with Ghost. I'm just trying to explain to you the bigger picture here where if you've got this dream of a ton of things that you wanna do and not just blog, then maybe blogging should just be one element of this platform and WordPress could be a fantastic solution for you. So it really just comes down to what you are trying to achieve with your business or whatever project it is that you're working on. WordPress has been around since 2003 and the platform has come a really long way. It's super flexible. The platform has over 60,000 plugins for you to choose from, which is insane to think about. You can take this platform, twist, turn it, make it anything that you want that's unrelated to blogging or fully advanced with blogging. So the platform really has a ton of capabilities and it's super Super flexible. That could be a pro and that could be a con. It depends how you're looking at this and what your business strategy is when you're launching this project. If we go back to Ghost for a moment, you're not going to find over 60,000 plugins because there really isn't a need for it. A lot of the things that you'll need as a blogger or publisher are going to be baked into this platform. You're not going to need to add special plugins for SEO or special plugins for email newsletter and monetizing your audience. All these things are just baked into the platform and they really did a good job at doing this. Again, their only focus is to give you a platform to blog and only do that. And if you look at their website and what they're showcasing, you're going to find OpenAI and Mozilla and Apple and so many big names that I can drop on you that are using Ghost. For WordPress to have some of the features and capabilities that Ghost comes with right out the box, you're going to need to install some third-party plugins. These plugins can start off with a lot of times for free. And then eventually, as you grow, you're going to need to maybe pay for a premium model. You don't have to, but it probably makes sense at a certain point. That way you can unlock more features from these plugins. The tricky part is, if you don't really know how to go about this, you can very quickly find yourself with a bloated environment of a WordPress installation, meaning you have your WordPress CMS and then all of a sudden you have like 20 or 30 plugins that you need to maintain. And sometimes these plugins can interfere with one another and then you need to start reaching out to whoever's helping you to host the website and tell them that you have an issue and maybe open a ticket and wait for them to respond and on and on it goes. You kind of need to do some research here and make sure that you're making the right decisions. I don't mean to make this video against WordPress at all. I just want you to understand what you're getting into. There 
there's a reason that WordPress gets a bad rap sometimes, but there's also a really good reason that a lot of people love and are obsessed with WordPress and why it's been around for so long and why it runs 40% of the web at this point. The flexibility that WordPress brings to the table is unmatched. And that's exactly where Ghost is not trying to shine. They make it very clear from the start. If you want to blog, come to us. And if you don't, don't come to us. WordPress will allow you to do whatever it is that you're looking to do. You can have a blog sitting side by side with an e-commerce store. So at this point, you're probably looking to understand what the major differences are from WordPress and Ghost when it comes to the things that Ghost comes built in with and the things that you're going to need to do some research to make a decision on how to implement this best with your WordPress installation. Ghost has a chart that displays this. This is going to be pretty biased to Ghost's side, but I think it helps you just have an idea of what to expect and what you're going to need to think about if you want to have a solution that matches what Ghost brings right out the box. Keep in mind that this chart is obviously biased. If we were to maybe compare side by side the flexibility of what WordPress can allow you to do in Ghost, then WordPress will completely outshine anything that Ghost can try to bring to the table because WordPress has a marketplace with over 60,000 plugins and you can literally build anything that you can dream up where you can't say the same thing with Ghost. So to recap the comparison specifically between WordPress and Ghost, if you're looking to have a robust blogging platform, monetize your audience, have decent SEO right out the box, then Ghost is probably your go-to. And if you need some flexibility and want to do maybe a bit more than just blogging and get creative with your project, then WordPress might be the perfect solution for you. Unlike Medium, WordPress and Ghost allow you to own your little space in the online world. You own the domain, you own the tech stack, you own everything that you're putting together. But keep in mind what this means. You own your little space in the online world, but you need to now start telling people about this space. Imagine having a store in the middle of the ocean. You need to somehow tell people that you exist and you need to start working on your SEO and some of your marketing. That way people can get exposed to what it is that you're building. And that's the advantage that Medium brings to the table. If you want to just let go of all this tech talk and just start blogging and monetize an audience right away without dealing with anything else. So that's it. I hope this video only helped you and didn't confuse you in any way and gave you some food for thought. If anyone has any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to support the channel, the best way to do so is to smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you all for watching.